Okay, so here's the deal. You're doing some scripting, and you need to do a little exploration. Like right now, I'm building a script to extract some dot-walked information from the expense line table. Now I know on the expense line record, this source ID field has a reference to the record that I want. But what I also know about the source ID field is that it's a document ID and not a pure reference field. So now I'm asking myself the question, can I dot walk through a document ID reference? Traditionally, I have two options. Number one, I could just experiment within the business rule I just built and then go through a fully complicated multi-step process to test it. Or I could use our old friend, the background script, but who wants to do that? So today I'm going to show you a really simple use case for Whitespace Studio's Explore. If you've got Explore downloaded, all you need to do is click the glasses. So here I am in Explore. The first thing I want to do is get the record that I want to explore. So I'm going to go to my expense line and I'm going to copy the sys ID. Now I want to start using that object within Explore. So the first thing I'm going to do is declare a new glide record variable. And just for fun, I'm going to call that variable current. And that way it's easier to make believe that I'm actually testing out a business rule. Remember I copied that sys ID, so let's just go get it. And now I have that object ready to use. Explore automatically outputs the last line, so if I just dump the current expense line source ID, we have the value. So Explore has helped me find out that the source ID is indeed a sys ID reference, but what I want to know is can I dot walk through it? So I know that the source ID on my expense line is linking to a task, a project to be specific. I'm going to go back to Explore, I'm going to say number. This is something that I would only be able to get if indeed I could dot walk through that document ID. There, Explore has outputted the project number. So Explore has allowed me to do exploratory coding without having to go through complex, detailed use cases that I would have to if I was just editing my business rules and without using the decrepit old background script interface. Hey everyone, if you found this content useful, be sure to smash that like button and share it with your network too. I've also got a lot more ServiceNow content for both developers and product owners on the way, so you want to smash that subscribe button and be sure you're not left behind. If you want to give Explore a shot absolutely free of charge, check out the share link in the description below. And lastly, if you need ServiceNow help delivered with the same passion and depth of understanding that you see here, please check the description on how you can contact me.